Hello parrot lovers and welcome to Discover Parrots. Welcome back to subscribers. I have a new book review, uh, another one by Rosemary Lowe, the famous uh, parrot expert, breeder and uh, author. The title is Understanding Parrots Cues from Nature. The author has uh, kept and bred various types of parrot for over 50 years and is still breeding small numbers of lorries and conures. She has traveled around the world to watch parrots in the wild and has been a curator of parrot collections at Loro Parque in Tenerife and Palmitos Park in uh, Gran Canaria. In 2018, the Loro Parque Foundation presented the prestigious Gorilla Award to Rosemary Lowe for her being a passionate defender of parrots who has dedicated her life to these birds through breeding and conservation. And this was a direct quote from uh, Loro Parque's uh, Facebook page. You can find out more about Rosemary Lowe and her books about parrots by visiting her webpage linked in the description uh, below. Okay, so here's the book. Um, I was saying it's a very interesting book. In fact, it's quite unique. Uh, the central idea of the book is that by learning about wild parrots and their natural behavior, you can truly understand your pet bird and um, thus you can offer it a better life as a companion parrot. Even the tamest uh, captive bred hand reared pet parrots are fundamentally wild in nature. Their behavior is more in tune to the life uh, in a jungle or a savanna than uh, uh, in a living room or a backyard aviary. The only way to have a happy, healthy parrot is to offer it some substitute for the natural activities it would perform in the wild. That's how Rosemary Lowe states her intention in the introduction of the book. Many people throughout the world are privileged to live with parrots, to interact with them on a daily basis, yet they know little about their wild relatives. I want them to know, says Rosemary Lowe, I want them to care what is happening to them and to know how they live in nature. In this book I have tried to weave together details of their lives in the wild and relate them to what they need when kept in our homes and uh, aviaries. That's uh, from the introduction. Um, now, you will find this idea throughout Rosemary Lowe's books and indeed in other uh, good parrot books. But as far as I know, this is the only one that uh, focuses specifically on this topic and uh, brings forth lots of scientific evidence to support it. Don't be afraid, it's not a dry science book. On the contrary, uh, the author has done a great job of uh, researching the scientific literature and boiling it down to very easy to read uh, text. Uh, no stats and graphs, no formulae and difficult words and concepts, just the essence of the research and its results. Plus, the book is smartly illustrated with uh, photos by the author and with uh, drawings by uh, Mandy Beacons, uh, a Dutch artist with a passion for parrots. More about her in the book. Uh, the content of the book is organized by subject in seven parts with about uh, 40 chapters. Uh, for example, part one is about uh, parrot anatomy and physiology. Uh, well, that's my way of saying it. Uh, you see, the actual title is the parts that make up the whole. And I don't know, um, I don't think you will find anywhere in this chapter the words uh, anatomy or physiology. All the science is really well translated into clear English and you will find a lot about um, uh, the parrot's beaks and how they work, um, the plumage and the wonder of flight and uh, so on, uh, without feeling uh, you're reading science. In fact, it's more like uh, reading short stories about uh, parrots and their amazing features. Okay, so just to mention a few other uh, parts of the book, uh, part two is about psychology and uh, includes subjects uh, like um, feather plucking and aggression and biting. Um, part three is about behavior and you will learn a few things about how parrots communicate in the wild and uh, how in captivity they end up talking. Uh, about territoriality and uh, what that means for your pet parrot and so on. Part 4, what parrots need, will help you discover the basic needs of parrots in the wild and how you can offer these conditions to your pet parrot. Uh, you, you know, like water, sunlight, branches to know um, and why, and uh, lots of such elements uh, of a parrot's good life. 
Uh, part five is about uh, breeding. Uh, it's not about uh, how you can start uh, a, a parrot breeding facility, build an aviary or nest boxes, etc. No, no, no. It's a lot of information about how parrots breed in the wild and the things you may uh, not have known and which uh, do help if you ever wish to breed uh, parrots. Because um, they explain the behavior of captive parrots uh, based on what scientists discovered about the wild ones. For example, you will understand why some species are monogamous and uh, breed in uh, isolation, while others are colonial, why some parrots live in matriarchal societies, and what this means for anyone trying to breed them at home. Um, a lot of uh, types of nest site preferences of various species, because not all parrots breed in the classic uh, vertical nest uh, box, um, uh, how eggs are incubated and how the chicks uh, develop until they fledge, until they gain independence. Independence. Uh, winning is a very important subject here because uh, lots of pet parrots are uh, produced by hand rearing and uh, you can now find out how to do this the right way. I mean if you consider uh, hand rearing uh, chicks uh, or buying one this is very useful. Part six is about foods and um, it's of great interest to anyone uh, keeping a parrot. Um, does it need greed? Can you offer uh, your parrot um, a good substitute for uh, natural food? Uh, yes, you can. And there's one thing uh, I didn't think about, uh, but Rosemary Law reveals in this book. Even wild parrots eat substitute food. It's clear to see this in the wild parakeets of London. Um, uh, thousands of miles away from their native land, eating uh, seeds of British rather than Asian uh, trees. But even in their native lands, wild parrots readily uh, exploit human crops such as corn and they compensate for the lost habitat due to human settlements. So uh, don't stress about buying gum tree leaves from Australia for your budgie. Uh, he'll be fine uh, chewing on lettuce and dandelion from your garden. The last part is uh, part seven, stop and think. And it's a reflection on our relationship with parrots um, and the ways in which the, we have harmed them, uh, both in the wild and in captivity how we drove to extinction some beautiful and charismatic species like the Glaucus macaw. Um, many breeders will probably reject Rosemary Lowe's uh, assertion that breeding is not conservation, but it's worth reading the chapter um, and understand uh, her take on this as it's more nuanced than uh, the title. In any case, many people will be upset by her conclusion. Uh, let me read it out for you. She writes, What can we do? The message is simple and highly unpopular. Human overpopulation and consumerism is driving the destruction of the Earth's habitats and resources and wildlife. Not until humans learn to limit their families to one or two children and to show respect for nature and all the wonderful creatures on the planet will the tide of destruction start to turn. Um, so, um, yeah, um, these are words that uh, make you think. Anyway, uh, um, let me show you an example of how this book translates good science into easy to read uh, stories. Let's go to page 85 to show you. See, it's just here, just this paragraph. It's a study on wild uh, green rammed parrotlets in Venezuela and how scientists discovered that adults um, uh, have individual um, contact calls. But uh, chicks also learn these uh, calls while in the nest and uh, when they fledge, they too have individual calls, almost like um, names, like personal names. I guess you aren't surprised by uh, parrots intelligence and how they recognize individual parrots and individual people, but it's nice to see uh, that again and again uh, confirmed by scientists uh, studying wild birds. Anyways, my point here is that understanding parrots cues from nature is a book based on science, but it's not a science textbook. Um, just take a look at the original paper um, referenced by Rosemary Law in her books. I have printed it so you can see it. It's eight pages, you know, technical jargon, graphs and uh, statistical analysis, all of that concentrated in one uh, paragraph 
uh, a story uh, anyone can read and which gives you the essence of what you need to know about parrots. And it's not just uh, science, many uh, passages in this book are quite poetical. Um, here's how Rosemary Lowe um, talks about um, the macaws, let me see, the wonders of flight. Okay, so she describes her encounter uh, with the wild uh, Lear's macaws in uh, Brazil. She writes, as the sun crept over the distant horizon, tinging the sky above with a narrow line of red, the Lears flew from their roosting cliff in a steady rhythmic flight whose elegance was hypnotizing in its beauty. The macaws were like airborne javelins. With their long wings, they are superbly acrobatic in flight, moving up and down the cliff face with consummate ease. So, yeah. This is actually uh, typical for uh, this author, Rosemary Lowe, um, uh, masters of very, very beautiful English, even for people like me who have English as a second language. So we, we also appreciate the style. Uh, it's another uh, good uh, or strong point uh, of this book and all other books by uh, Rosemary Lowe. Um, anyway. Nice. There's a lot to discover in this book and uh, I'm sure you will think um, many times I didn't know that, or hmm, that's why my uh, parrot does this. Um, it will help you better understand uh, parrots in general and appreciate the fragility of your parrot's wild cousins. Um, so I think it's well worth reading this book. Uh, you can find this book and others on Rosemary Lowe's uh, webpage, link in the description below, uh, or you can buy it on uh, Amazon or other online bookstores. If you buy a uh, parrot's magazine, or you are a subscriber, you may find good offers for uh, parrot books advertised in the pages of the magazine. Um, for example, this is uh, January 2019. This is the la latest issue. And if I go to towards the end of the magazine, yeah, page 41, you can see this column here, um, Rosemary Lowe's uh, books, Understanding Parrots Choose from Nature uh, was $21.99, now £16.95. So you, yeah, you'll find others uh, like Why Does My Parrot, which I uh, reviewed before. Um, uh, definitely uh, subscribe to uh, Parrots Magazine. Um, I'm going to review here other uh, parrot books. Uh, I've already uh, picked my next two titles, but uh, please leave me a comment below if you have better ideas of books you wish to find out about. Um, until uh, next time, enjoy discovering parrots. Goodbye!